Welcome, Class of 2024. I'm Dean Mostov, and I'm thrilled to be welcoming you to New York University and Liberal Studies. Congratulations on being here. You can be quite proud to be among the amazing class of 2024. At the presidential welcome, you will hear lots of statistics about the diverse composition of the outstanding students joining NYU this year. Do not doubt a word of it, as over 85,000 students applied for admission this year, and we were more selective than ever in forming your class. So bravo. You will also hear that this year will be like no other, and that goes without saying. Hopefully, years from now, you will reminisce with your classmates about the strange circumstances of social distancing, classes with masks, and virtual engagement. And this is something that you will share as an experience of resilience, creativity, bravery, and innovation. The university is a space of knowledge production, sharing, and exchange, a place to explore, to grow, to challenge one's assumptions, to uncover painful histories, and to excavate root causes of social cleavages, economic disparities, and corrosive injustice. And liberal studies is a distinct space, global, interdisciplinary, and engaged. An inspiring space in which to build the confidence, the understanding, intellectual capacity, and communicative skills to meet and overcome the challenges of our times. The pandemic has turned our attention to issues of public health. Recent police brutality has forced us to re-examine our institutions and values and global challenges from trade wars to climate change have made us acutely aware of our interconnections and the danger of our failure to cooperate across borders. Now we are entering into electoral campaigns that while local and national are exceedingly global in impact. Thus I repeat, this is an extraordinary and critical time to be part of an academic community like ours at NYU and liberal studies. Some used to talk about the university as an ivory tower. I don't think that many of us believe that this is an accurate description or a possibility today. The university, especially NYU, is an integral part of the city region, nation, and international networks. We not only engage in knowledge production to meet local and global challenges in our classes, laboratories, and classes and studies, but also participate as members of overlapping and multiple communities in attempting to understand, to clarify, and address pressing concerns that affect our lives and the lives of others. From violence and mass incarceration to climate change and from pandemics to statelessness. 
The university, though, is also an incredible incubator of change, of fresh concepts and innovation and solutions, where we can explore and celebrate our differences and seek ways to advance cooperation. The classroom is the first place for us to experiment with new designs, notions, and approaches, and to practice the kind of respect for others that will be critical to us as advocates for a better world. The start of the academic year holds the promise of new journeys, experiences, opportunities, and discoveries, and will certainly present more twists and turns, trials and surprises, as well as individual and collective achievements. This fall, while we will be having many collective activities virtually, we will have more in store than ever for engagement of all kinds, from the Big Ideas classes and the Common Read, to virtual lectures, forums, spaces for advocacy and activism, as well as clubs and organizations across the university. And there will be efforts to make sure that voters are registered and that we can all protect our precious right to vote. Last academic year, our students in both LS Core and GLS garnered awards across campus for leadership and civic engagement, prestigious fellowships and scholarships, and recognition for original research and creative work, all in the face of the pandemic challenge. I know that you will continue on these successful trajectories, confirming the exceptional quality of academic and civic engagement distinctive of liberal studies. Please make sure to follow the Student Affairs newsletter and social media, take advantage of our town halls and the Dean's open office hours. I am confident that you will inspire one another to find promise in this new academic year, to embrace our enthusiasm for learning, and demonstrate a readiness to make a difference together. Congratulations and welcome to all. Have a fabulous year. Hello and welcome to the great class of 2024. It is my great privilege and pleasure to be here to help welcome you to liberal studies. You're embarking on an incredibly important part of your life and academic journey. Every year I am incredibly impressed by the students that join our department and the background and credentials that they bring into our program. As you join this family and think about what it might be like, let me stay up front that you're entering a space of incredible diversity and you'll be brought face to face with some of the most dedicated and decorated and um, uh, uh, inspiring faculty that I have ever met and their accolades speak for themselves. People who are Fulbright scholars, who are recipients of international poetry awards, who have worked for NASA space program, who bring incredible uh, skills in writing, teaching, research in the sciences and the humanities across a whole range of geographies, languages, and backgrounds. There are two things that I would like to share with you and ask you to do as you think about your first days in liberal studies. The most important thing I would like to encourage you to do is to take charge of your own learning and get to know our faculty. Get to know our diverse faculty whose interests, research, backgrounds align with your own. Seek out faculty for internships, research opportunities, and to build your professional network. Give yourself the freedom to learn and make mistakes 
and define yourself in how you rise above mistakes and questions and circumstances. Make use of our faculty to help you become more persuasive writers, thinkers, scholars, researchers, in ways that will help you to make a difference for the causes that affect your life or that you care about. Make time for office hours and make time to interact with the incredibly rich and talented uh, individuals that we invite into our department, into our class spaces, that we bring to liberal studies, that enrich the liberal studies experience. Liberal studies goes beyond our faculty as well in terms of taking charge of our own learning, I must say. Our model is one of small classrooms, multicultural, interdisciplinary learning, research-based and discussion-based approaches, student innovation and leadership, and using the city as part of our classroom. Now you might say, how do you use the city as part of the classroom in a pandemic? You will find out and discover that even the scholarship and teaching methods that we're using in liberal studies make plain and illuminate the human rights, public health, environmental justice, and powerful social and political forces that are embedded and are at the root of the current pandemic. For now, we will discuss this, of course, from a safe distance, but you will realize that liberal studies provides an incredible space to illuminate and make visible both the local and global dimensions of various themes, and you will become a part of this. My second brief advice is that you use liberal studies as a place to lean into your discomfort. We pride ourselves in providing an arena where both the traditional and non-traditional is discussed, a space where both the powerful and the historically marginalized voices are treated with dignity and respect, and a place where there is a multiplicity of voices and viewpoints. This will create opportunities for you to engage with individuals who are very, very different from yourself and who have very, very lived, different lived experiences. Engaging across difference provides some of the richest and most lasting experiences and learning opportunities that you will have in liberal studies. I'd like to point out that in my classes I teach about coffee. This is actually coffee from my home country of Jamaica. It speaks to my identity, but it also speaks to environmentalism, it speaks to activism, and it speaks to wildlife conservation. We are going to use simple objects to have very profound discussions about capitalism, environmentalism, humanity, the others, people around the world who we might never meet, but we will be able to learn about in very deep and profound ways. Welcome once again to the members of the class of 2024, and I look forward to telling you more and see you all soon. Hello everyone and welcome to NYU. My name is Kai Byron and this is my third year as a liberal studies student leader. I'm a rising senior in the College of Arts and Sciences pursuing a major in psychology with a minor in child and adolescent mental health. I spent my first year away at NYU in Washington DC as a part of the liberal studies core. In my sophomore year, I then transitioned to the Washington Square campus in New York City, where I completed the remainder of my core curriculum. I, for one, am honored and beyond grateful to be able to welcome you all as you transition from high school into university during this particularly turbulent and stressful time, especially happening right now in our world in regards to health, racial inequality, and social unrest. Nonetheless, I want to congratulate you all for showing up and for being here and bringing your whole selves as we journey together through these uncertain times. I can't imagine how difficult it may be for some of you to be transitioning from high school to university, especially during this time, during this pandemic. However, I want to help put you and your mind at ease because you are about to embark on an experience in liberal studies core. 
At this core is an amazing way to transition from where you are now to the global campus that is New York University. Liberal Studies prepares you with a unique foundation of learning and writing that exposes you to so much of the world's cultures and the vast literature that perhaps some of you have never gotten the opportunity to experience firsthand in an academic setting. I selected LS Core, like perhaps some of you watching this today, when applying to NYU as an alternative acceptance option. I initially applied to, directly to the College of Arts and Sciences, so when I applied and I accepted, I immediately was ecstatic. NYU had been my dream school for years and I applied early decision one, but then I did a double take when I read the acceptance letter again <laughs> and it said that you will be expected to spend your first year in Washington DC as a part of the liberal studies core curriculum. And I had no idea what that was initially, but you know, after some research and many questions asked, I dove in anyway and I trusted it. And to this day, I'm so very grateful I decided to go through with this. If some of you are planning to transition into the College of Arts and Sciences or another NYU school following LS Core, some of you may encounter other students that hadn't pursued LS complaining about taking their core classes, some of them as juniors or seniors. But being in LS Core now, <laughs> lucky for you all, you do not have to worry about taking core classes later on. And on top of that, Liberal Studies classes are small, they're intimate, and the professors pay super close attention to each of their students, and it's a very helpful environment in order to get well acclimated into NYU. Not to mention, the professors and overall content of LS courses are very interesting and challenge you in ways that you would not have anticipated from an ordinary core class. My first year at NYU DC was one of my better two semesters spent at NYU. And for many years, especially during my senior year of high school, I was idolizing the idea of attending college in Manhattan and finally getting the chance to walk through the iconic Washington Square Park and take pictures by the arch, as many accepted NYU students dreamt of. But upon the sudden expectation that I would spend my first two semesters in DC, having never really visited before, I was taken aback. But because of where NYU DC is located in the downtown area of the city, just blocks away from the White House and all of the historical monuments, it was another amazing location that I got to build memories in. And some of the professors even incorporated the unique qualities of DC into our learning experience. For instance, for arts and cultures, my professor was one of the historians that would literally go dust off historical landmarks at sites overseas and worked at the National Museum of Natural History. And every Wednesday for class, we would meet at the museum and get to witness the different ex exhibitions and displays and incorporate it into our learning. My writing professor also had us learn about the art of graffiti in Washington, D.C., and we would travel around to different places in the city and write papers on the street art that we saw. And these are only to name only a fraction of the fun and rewarding opportunities myself and my fellow classmates get to experience. However, given the pandemic and that some of you may be experiencing remote learning for this upcoming semester, I do want to sincerely assure you that there will be many opportunities to learn, to engage with professors, to become involved in student programs, and to connect with each other, hopefully very soon. And not only were me and my fellow classmates fully immersed in the rich culture of our location in our core classes, our arts and cultures and global works and society professors touched on many themes that were new to a lot of us, stemming anywhere from texts from ancient philosophers to learning about the monsterization of race dating back hundreds of years ago that we could apply to today. And it's mind boggling for me, even now, to conceptualize how much we really learned and our eyes were open to so much. And in addition to academics and LS, I'm also very grateful for the extracurricular opportunities that my peers and I were presented with during our time. The student life team was amazing and got us tickets to concerts, trips to nearby sites of interest, and the NYU building itself with, that we stayed in was hosting community events every week and there was always something for us to be a part of. I was a part of our cohorts hall government and we had varying committees of students representing clubs from things like meeting commands, and demands of peers, or planning fun engagement events for all of us, or community outreach. 
there was also an LGBTQ club that I was a part of, and I had a whole lot of fun helping create events for that as well. And our RAs were super friendly and welcoming and always had fun things for us to do. And not to mention, our city had so many cool and free <laughs> events happening that I and other students could take advantage of as well. Also, many of us were interested in work and internships, as some of you might be. So many of my classmates were specifically interested in politics or human rights, and we volunteered and we did internships or even worked on Capitol Hill. And for that, there was the option to do a pass-fail course that gave us credit for all of our hard work. For my internship experience during my second semester of my first year, I got the chance to do the communications manager position of the executive board for NYU DC Dialogues. NYU DC Dialogues is a student-led initiative created to engage the NYU DC community in key discussions on politics, culture, business, environment, education, and more. And through active participation from the NYU DC student body, DC Dialogues convenes prominent experts on various perspectives to discuss matters most captivating to us as students. And my most memorable event was um, the moment where I got the opportunity as communications manager to curate and organize my own open to the public panel event featuring NBC political commentator Jonathan Capehart and lawyer, activist, and writer Andrea Ritchie, who I was connected with by the help of NYU staff. NYU DC Dialogues during my first year also hosted Senator Tim Kaine and Governor of Virginia Ralph Northam in a panel event and among many other panel events and immersive, immersive events that we got to hold on campus. Overall, my experience in Ellis Gore was very positive. The professors were super receptive to students' needs and always made themselves available to help anyone if they requested it. The topics that we learned about truly helped set our foundation for the remainder of our undergraduate experience from a global perspective that would become very useful in whatever field we decided to pursue. Some of my favorite professors and staff members came from my time in liberal studies, and I'd always find myself venturing back to the liberal studies floor on campus in Manhattan just to pop in and say hi. Liberal studies, while it's not as small as it seems, it's truly an intimate family that manifests on campus. I don't know. In my opinion, it seems admissions has secretly found a way to put all of us, all of the best of NYU into LS Core. Maybe that's a conspiracy theory, <laughs> but I truly believe LS Core is a welcoming home for all and certainly has some of the most forward thinking, progressive minds on campus. And you've made not only the right decision in choosing NYU, but you've also made the right decision choosing liberal studies. Congratulations once more and welcome. Thank you so much. Hi everyone, my name is Felicia Nara. My pronouns are she, her, and I am the president of the Liberal Studies Student Council. Um, I am a rising senior in Global Liberal Studies, aka GLS, with a concentration in cultural and social identities and secondary majors in history and philosophy. I'm really honored and excited to be your president this year, and I'm also really excited to share with you guys a little bit about what we do as a council and how you all can get involved. So as a council, we organize social, academic, and professional events for LS students. In the past, these have looked like things like town halls with the dean, info sessions about transferring or transitioning to other schools at NYU, uh, free film screenings at local movie theaters, and Q&A panels with LS alumni about post-graduation employment, etc. Um, while we know that a lot of these events are going to look a little different this semester, we're still working hard to bring you guys equally exciting, socially distant, and virtual programming in the fall. Another important thing that we do for you is we advocate for you guys at an all-university level. So what that means is I, as president, have a seat on the Student Government Assembly, or SGA, as does our Senator David. SGA is an organization that advocates for all students at NYU, um, among which David and I represent LS. So SGA does a lot of really cool things. Um, recently, for example, they um, filed an amicus brief uh, as part of a, in support of a lawsuit against ICE and Homeland Security um, that partially contributed to them rescinding a decision to bar international students from taking all online courses this semester. Um, so 
if you'd like to get involved with the LS Student Council and help us with any of those cool things, um, we'd really love to have you. We're opening a round of elections this fall, so keep an eye out for registration forms in your emails. Um, we also, if you don't want to get involved in um, that formal of a capacity, we also have four committees that you can join. Um, these four committees are Global Liberal Studies, Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion, Public Relations, and Events. So if you want to um, join any of those committees, signups will open up later this semester. Finally, if you don't want to have a formal position on the student council, but you still want to get your voice heard, we also have general assembly meetings a few times per semester that are a public forum for any LS student to come and voice their concerns, give us feedback, propose new ideas for us to implement, etc, etc. So my job on LSSC alongside every other member on council is to reflect what you guys want as our constituents. So you absolutely do have a say in everything that we do. Please don't hesitate to reach out to us at ls.studentcouncil at nyu.edu if you have any questions or suggestions. Before I go, I want to leave you guys with a few little pieces of advice. Um, I know it sounds cliche, but I really want to encourage you to take advantage of all the opportunities that you have at your fingertips. Talk to your professors. They're way cooler than you think they are. Join student council. We're also way cooler than you think we are. Um, go to events, join clubs, uh, meet people, do things that are exciting and scary. Put yourself out there. Live, live a little, you know? Um, there will always be more to learn, more to explore, but also more hard work, more long nights. I should know I've pulled countless all-nighters and bopes. I've sat through hundreds of boring lectures. And I can tell you that, like, while your grades are important and your academics matter, it's the moments in between that you should savor. Um, it's the lulls in between your classes and your study sessions and your furious essay writing frenzies. Those are the moments that you should treasure for the rest of your life. Um, so every late night pizza slice, every walk through Washington Square Park, every high school musical sing along with your roommates, those are the moments that will stick with you. So be present in them, be appreciative, be joyful. Don't be thinking about your 9 a.m. or the midterm you have coming up or anything like that because you owe it to yourself to work hard, but you also owe it to yourself to be happy while you do it. So with that, I wish you all the best at NYU and in liberal studies, no matter how long you're here. Um, you can always reach out to us at the Liberal Studies Student Council by email at ls.studentcouncil at nyu.edu. We are here to serve you. Um, and while we know that this semester might look a little different than usual or a little different from what you had hoped, um, we'll still be doing our best to make your time in LS as amazing as it can be given the circumstances. So look out for updates from us on Instagram at NYULSSC, all one word, or on Twitter at NYU underscore LSSC. And I'm so excited to meet all of you. And I'm really excited to also see all the amazing, wonderful things you're going to do. Bye!